Hey, yo, what it do, man? This your boy, Young Poodle. You already know I'm at the WLFC 88.3. You know what I mean? And we up here getting it in. Big Feng Shui, Young Poodle. Hey, we here. Let's go. I appreciate y'all. What's going on, man? My name is AD. Um, before we before we get to the to the to the guest, and I, I'm I'm eager to get to the guest, but I want to start this off differently. Something I haven't done before, but I, I see a lot of your interviews, um, and uh, and so if you wouldn't mind, I would like to say a prayer before we uh, before we oh, yeah, before we dive sure. in. All That's right, cool. cool. Um, so, uh, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for this day. Um, we appreciate you allowing us to wake up, join forces, collab, and uh, be in the midst of you. Um, I ask that you please touch uh, Young Puda in all of his journeys, endeavors, travels. Um, please touch his music, uh, the way he makes his music, how he promotes his music, how he gets it out. Please touch the consumption of his music. Please touch Mr. Tucker. Please touch all of their family, friends, loved ones, and fans. Uh, please touch Jeremiah Jackson, his family, um, and um, his upcoming graduation on Saturday and all of his endeavors. Uh, please touch myself, my son, my family. Please touch this conversation. Uh, thank you for all that you do, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. There we go. Yes, sir. Let's clap for Young Poodle. Young Poodle is in the building. Yes. I love it. I love it. Well, um, welcome, first of all. Appreciate it. So, thank you. I didn't mean to start off too deep. Like I said, never did that before. But nah, nah, that's beautiful, bro. That's the best way to start it off. You speak on uh, you speak on God in a lot of your interviews, and yeah. you speak in a way that um, at least I can relate to. Yeah. Um, and not to say that anybody, you know, if you're if you're a believer, a child of God, you should be able to relate to you know God mm -hmm. in any way. But people speak differently. So when I hear you talk about it, that's how, um, at least in the interviews that I've watched, right? That's how. Okay, this is how. I relate to it, so yeah. thank you. Um, yeah, and it's it. and, and individuals, uh, you know, accept awards and say, you know, first I want to thank God, as they should, right? Yeah. Um, but then other times we don't hear them talk about God or their relationship with God or um, perseverance through life because of God. So um, right. I appreciate that. Nah, I appreciate you, bro. Um, love, yeah. love. So thank you. Um, so I want to start, um, Young Puda. I, I was reading in, a, in, in, a, in an article that you got the name. From being overweight as a child, is this correct? Yeah. Nah. So the the childhood nickname come from um, about what 11, 12. It come from a girl, a female friend. Okay. Yeah. Um, it really just kind of came out the blue, and she just started calling me that. Then everybody started calling me that. And it just kind of ran with it. That makes more yeah. sense. I was trying to figure out like chunky. Like big obese, how does this get to Puda? Yeah, I was like, so yeah. it wasn't really making a lot of sense. Yeah. Um, Puda made me think about Pootie Tang. Um, yeah. Straight up, I can't lie, that's where it took me. And then it also took me somewhere else that was that was girl related. So I'm like, okay, yeah. where does this? Okay. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to hang on. Does this really come from being? Were you were you overweight as a child? No, nah, I, I I don't think I was overweight, but you know I was a little fat baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when did you slim out? You were fat as a baby. Fat as a baby is one thing, because all babies are fat to a certain degree. Yeah, man, I, I've always been skinny. But when I was a baby, like my baby pictures, no, I was a little chubby. You was Maxo Cream when you was eight months. <laughs> all love, by the way. Um, shouts out to Maxo. Big shouts time. out to Maxo. Yeah. Um, and I wanted to hit, I, I'm, so uh, I'm originally from Dayton, Ohio. Uh, moved to San Antonio, Texas when I was 16. And okay. the culture, it was a, it was one. It was the best time of my life. I mean, you you are obviously familiar with Texas, but yeah. like, so I'm going. This Texas was, treated me very well, um, especially at that age. Um, but it's a beautiful thing, but also a culture shock. And I've always been into hip hop, rap music um, since since a wee. But um, but different scenes. The Dirty Third Coast presents a whole different scene. So yeah. like, I'm familiar with the mixtape scene and grind in New York in the late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah. But there's a whole culture of mixtapes down in Texas. And not these digital, yeah, I mean man. digital mixtapes too, but I'm talking about the hard copies. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You get the, you get the brick and mortar man, stores man. down there, at least Switcher back in the house, day. The Switcher House, SUC, you know what I'm saying, DSR, oh, the my. big, big tug. Oh my, freight trains. Yeah, oh, man, come on, goodness. bro. Classics. So, what did you, and while we're there, shout out to Lil Mario, um, uh, uh, rest in peace of D Bundo. Um, what did you yeah, come up on as a kid? Uh, man, growing up, uh, I was listening to a lot of a lot of Wayne, uh, Missy. I was on the Ludacris, mm. SUC, Switch House, uh, a lot of Chameleon there, Boosie. Um, okay. I listened to a lot of Master P. I, I listened to like a wide range of music. Right. So, you know, I just a lot of all the greats, really. I like it. I like it. And you, you mentioned Boosie and Master P, Louisiana, right? So how, yeah. how, 
I always hear about it, but I've never I've never been to Louisiana. I don't know any don't know much about Louisiana culture outside of music. But like, how tight how tightly knit are Houston and Louisiana? Like, is it a lot of like culture meshing between the two? And I I, I say Houston specifically because I always hear about Houston and New Orleans. Nah, and so it's forth. definitely two different cultures, but um, a lot of people from Texas we have family from uh, Louisiana or in Louisiana because is close right it's like it's super close so mm. yeah that makes sense that makes sense for sure yeah um and you're originally from orange orange texas describe orange texas for me i don't know anything about orange. man orange is small bro it's country okay you know very <laughs> low population but see it's like it's like right on the border of louisiana so it's one bridge okay. that separate orange and louisiana oh so you're even closer to louisiana i'm even closer to oh, louisiana wow. and um uh, yeah, man, it's just it's you know good country living. There's no no opportunity really mm. for nothing. So that's why I end up moving to Houston, which is the next city over. So if you go if you go this way, you know you're going towards Houston, uh, Dallas, and all that. But if you go the other way across the bridge, you're going towards uh, Louisiana. Okay. So I just chose to go to Houston. Right. And you know what I'm saying, kind of following the footsteps of uh, UGK. You know what I'm saying because um, Port Arthur, Texas. Mm -hmm. You know Can't that's that that's right next to Orange, Texas, and okay. Beaumont is the Golden Triangle. That the, that's what they the call it. I they call it. Like yeah. Learn. I like to learn. Yeah, because it's so close. We're so close to each other. So Beaumont, Orange, and Port Arthur. They all like maybe 15. 20 minutes apart from each other. Okay. You know, so, so with uh, UGK originally being from Port Arthur, a city that's so close to Orange, and seeing them going to Houston and just, you know, doing that thing, I, I, I was inspired by that. And how far away is Houston from Orange? Orange is like uh, about an hour, 30 minutes from Houston. Okay, so that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Did you go there once you started making music, or did family move, and that's nah, what took you nah, to Houston? Nah, uh, I ended up moving like after I graduated. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to put this out there just so I don't forget. Um, it's tourist season, isn't it? May 5th. It's tourist season. Big Cinco de Mayo. That's crazy, for sure. My birthday tomorrow. Um, oh, happy so, early so, birthday. So, yeah, tourist yes, season. Sir. Full, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, happy early birthday. Um, you going to be how old? 31. 31. Okay. Oh, you in the 30s 30, now. Man. Yeah, okay, yeah, for sure. Man. Definitely, definitely. Well, and well, enjoy your day. Um, however you're supposed to do it, right? However you plan on enjoying it, make sure you enjoy your day. Nah, likewise. For, you know. for sure. Um, being a Taurus, um, for me, sometimes, and, and I'm, 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 growth is, 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 is great, right? But at times, I'm, I'm stubborn, right? Sometimes I'm a little That's what, a little that's what they say, man. You know what? They, I used, they used to tell me that as a kid. You know, you're a bull. You're stubborn. Yeah. And I, don't, I didn't, I, there wasn't nothing as a kid. But as I got older, I started, I don't know if I listened too much. Okay, I'm, I can just be stubborn because that's what, I, what I'm supposed to be, right? Yeah. Do you find yourself being stubborn at all or no? Uh, sometimes, but then again, I, I man, I think I'm like, it's just, we want to be understood. Mm. Okay. If we want to be understood at the, you know, the degree that we're explaining it. Right. Because we can explain something and they still not get it to the full. Right. How, know, how we want it to how, be understood. How we want it to be understood. So, I don't know, I think maybe a lot of that comes from that. Okay. Wanting to be understood, but... Sometimes, yeah, you, I feel like I do can be stubborn at times. For I sure. try not to be. Right, that, that, that's the biggest thing. I try thing. not to be. So, right. so when I catch myself, I correct myself. I like that. Yeah, I like that. But then there's also some things that you want to you want to stand firm on though too. Okay, not nah, facts. Maybe I'm stubborn here, and if I am, so be it. Like not nah, facts, because you got to stand on principles. For sure. You know what I mean? Definitely. Yeah. Um, uh, now I don't want to get I don't want to get you caught up here, so just reject the question. I don't know if you got a lady friend. Do you find that you work does, does, as a tourist? You work well with different signs from the opposite sex, or, or, or uh, no? Yeah, yeah, I work I work well with women in general. Okay, that's a, that's a, that's a great answer, safe answer. There yeah. you go. I definitely know I got a couple signs, and no, I'm staying I'm staying clear, y'all. But then I know I got a sign over here. I'm like, you know what? I need to find another one like you because yeah, yeah. like work well with you for sure. Um, so the reason you're here, the reason you're here, um, we're promoting the record already. Know right? Yes, sir. Um, and I got I got to talk about how I came to find out who you who you were. It was only a few months ago. Um, I'm on Instagram, cruising through somebody's story. Um, her name is. Amber Jade, actually. Who's Amber Jade? She's an artist in the UK. And I hear the sample, right? So I'm thinking, okay, 112, da da da, da. Don't ask no questions. I'm vibing out. And I'm like, no, that's not it. And I look at the 
look at the name and the title up there and I see your name. Um, I'm like, okay, this, let, me, let me YouTube this. And then that's how I learned about you um, and Fly. found it on YouTube. And so uh, when, I, when I find a different song, like a new song that I really enjoy, I jam it out like for two weeks strong. Like, so on the way to church, on the way to Shorty House, in the gym. It's one of them records, the feel good record or whatever. Like, you know, you feel it. Um, so I tired myself out after two weeks. But nonetheless, I'm, I, I love the record, right? Yeah, um, yeah. I still jam it. But, um, but that's how I, I definitely ran it to the death on the first, you know, first 14 days. But that's how I came into the record. Um, nice. Uh, so I love it. I love I it. I appreciate it. I love that you rap on it. I love rap rap. Um, and shout, and shout, and shout out to A Boogie too. But he just gave us that more melodic verse, which is also good. I mean, the little Stephen Curry, the thirty that back there. He, it was wordplay. Was was heavy. Yeah. Um, you give us a lot of captions in there too. I think it's yeah. I think it's big in twenty twenty three to have. Ca- and I don't think I, I don't know if you if artists go in trying to think you know. Let me. Oh, that's a good caption. Let me put that as as a bar or whatever. But like, um, really on the cool she a flex. Yeah. That's a, mm, mm. I done said that in text and in person. It's worked both times for me. Um, <laughs> Straight up, let's go. So I mean, it's the stuff like that. I think the following was a um, she a vibe and I'm with it. Same deal. Yeah. Um, so you like little things like that that I could see, you know, men and women putting on their Instagram, right? Yeah. Um, well, now whether they give you credit or not is another thing. But you know, um, you know I'm just speaking from from a man perspective to the beautiful women. That's how we be feeling. Yes. You yes. Know? So I just said it for us, and then I wanted to do something, something grown and sexy. Yes. You know, something that, like you say, feel good. Something that you can just hit the gym to, get dressed to, date night, chill night, jam with shorty or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just that that two-step, yes. you know, type vibe. Yes. Yeah, it, I felt like it was needed, you know, and you could never go wrong with doing something for the ladies. Never, and you're bringing back something that hasn't been heard in that capacity in years. I don't know right. when the, the, the original record was released. I have no idea, right. and I'm sure that has some type of sample from so on and so forth. And um, but for me, '90s baby, right? Yep. I, I, I listen for those like when I hear a sample like that that takes me back to a certain time from a record that I genuinely love. Yeah. I'm locked in from the jump now. Now is it gonna be good content in? I don't know, but I'm locked in. Oh, this now I get, now I get both of them. It is good. I get, yeah. I get great music. I get the great hook. I get the great verse. I get the great verse. Like it's, 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 it's bread and butter. So, um, as a, as a consumer, um, uh, I appreciate the record a lot. No, I appreciate, it, man. That's what I try to. That's what I try to go for. It was beautiful. Yeah. Um, I know, I know you were working on the videos. The video out. Yeah. Okay, the video is out. Yeah, okay, okay. We, we five million views strong. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, so y'all million, tap five, on that. Five, million, five more times. Five million, five million, five million, five million, five million. Oh, my Good. goodness. Jeez. <laughs> um, well, shout out to that. Congratulations. Appreciate it, man. Um, you've also got the uh, the Forever Tipping, right? Forever Tipping. Um, that's another one that, sh- that struck me the same way, right, for for same reason. Um, um, you like samples. I do. You like samples. I do, man. They work for you too. So. I know, bro. It's like I can't get away from. Them. And then I record so I record so much music, and out of like a lot of music that I record, my label loves the samples too. I mean, <laughs> so, and you, you love know, it. I do. So yeah, I do. Then, then it, 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 it works. It definitely works. Make all parties happy. Yeah, man. Um, I got. I do want to ask how the the. I know about Cool and Dre, but repeat that. I know how that yeah. connection came about, but like it's so because I know, I also know you are you know cool with Fat Joe. Yeah. Like, is did that come through Cool and Dre? Did Cool and Dre come through Fat Joe? How did the cool? How did the fat? How did Young Puda from Houston? Fat so, Joe. So I know he's in Miami now, but yeah. So Cool, Dre, Fat Joe, like that whole camp. They already had a, a real close relationship with my label before. I uh, signed to him. Shout out, it's a ten. I'm signed to an independent label, Big shout out label. But um, so when I first got with my label, they were sending me, you know, uh, different producers. And um, out of the producers that I just just really stuck with me was uh, Cool and Dre. They had son a beat. They had son one beat first. Then when I did the beat, they sent a pack, mm-hmm. and I ended up doing the whole pack. Yeah, and and it was just fire. So, and we we just worked so well together, um, man. And it was a vibe. I ended up going to Florida to go to the studio, Cool and Dre Studio. And um, as I was working there, I was in the booth recording a verse or whatever. And um, I'm in the middle of the verse, just uh, you know what I'm saying, rapping. Mm-hmm. And I see. Big bright dude, big bald bright dude walk in, 
So I'm doing it, but I'm, I'm rapping and I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, I know that ain't, I know that ain't Joe. You know what I'm saying? So I see him, he vibing or whatever. I come out the booth. He like, That's how his headshake will go to yeah, the Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was crazy. So, so I come out the booth. I go into the, into the yo. And he was like, yo, keep doing your thing, kid. Mm. You know, we had, you know, just a, a real heart to heart. You feel me about just game. And he's just a great mentor. And he's been a, a big supporter, a day one supporter, ever since I got signed to the label. So okay. ever since he heard my music, came across me, he's shout been a, yeah, shout out to Joe, That's great huge. supporter. Um, yeah, man, he even pulled up, he pulled up to the video shoot, you know, put the put the Terror Squad chain on me. Yes. And come on, man! They're like it don't, it don't, it don't get no realer than that. Especially coming from the '90s and coming from musical background. Come like, on, like yeah, you. It, it was, it was, it was legendary. That's something I'll cherish forever. That was one of the cosigns that I saw. The only other one that I could even compare it to that I would would be like Busta and Ot, just from being from different coasts and different right. sounds of music. Like it was right. one of those. Okay, hold up, Joe and yeah. Joe and Puda. I'm, 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 let me let me dive into this, but I'm happy to see it, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, nah, really. So no, big shouts out to that connection. Um, I, I hope that continues to be pro- prosperous and flourish for both of y'all. Um, um, also in your interviews, I mean, obviously along with your music, but you uh, you, you have good quotes. Some this was in I think this was in one of the on the radar Zoom interviews, but some things take longer because the bag gonna be bigger. You probably don't yeah. even remember saying that. I and don't, I, but okay. it, but that's a fact. You know it. It hit home. It hit home yeah. as I was listening to it. So I had to take that down. Um, so keep speaking like that, please, because you never know who needs to hear it, right? Yeah, yeah. Somebody. Most definitely. Man, it, it hit home a lot for me. Um, I got a segment I want to do, but before I get that, I'm going to ask this question. One of my uh, one of my homies, Trey Got Game, gave me this question. I like the way he did it. It's probably one of the best questions I heard in a long time. So shout out to Trey. I got to steal it, from, borrow it um, one time. Um, last book you read? Last book I read. What was the last book I read? Um, I think it was. No, it wasn't Get Rich or Die Try. I mean, not uh, Think and Grow Rich. No, it was uh, I think it was called I Ching. I Ching. I Ching or I Chi. Okay. It's like Chinese philosophy. Okay. Yeah, let me, it was. Let me, let me take this down. Yeah, yeah man, I got it. Let me, let me I got learn you. something. I got you. I got you. And then, no, as, as a matter of fact, the last book I read was The Power of Intention. The Power of Intention. I don't know. I'm not into that either. The, the Power, Power of, of Intention. Intention. I like that. I yeah. like the title. Let me make sure that's the right title, though. He, he threw me off with the question, too, because I had never been asked. Not, I read a lot, so it wasn't difficult, but at the same time, like, I got to remember the author now, too. Um, it's easy to remember yeah. the title. Um, so he caught me, but, uh, but I loved it. Um, yeah. I'm going to transition that. Once again, shout out to Trey. If you could... There you go. The Power of Intention by Dr. Wayne. Dr. Wayne? Yes, sir. Dr. Dwayne Carter? No. <laughs> Dr. Wayne. Yes, um, sir. If you could title this uh, this chapter in your life anything, what it's an ill transition, right? Trey, yeah. it's an ill transition. Um, what would it be titled? The Beginning. The Beginning. Mm, okay. Gen- Genesis. Like, you just getting started. Just getting started, Genesis. really. Oh, oh, is that what you said? Yeah. Oh, Woo. yeah. Just Jeremiah, getting started, that, huh? man. Um, I for sure, I for sure that you was gonna save vivid pictures, but I like, but I like where you took it. Yeah. Um, I definitely like where you I'm took on, it. I'm on, I'm on a mission, so this is the beginning of the mission. So you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, why the title "Vivid Pictures"? Why we? Um, shout out to Jeff. Uh, you know, he actually suggested the idea. Um. And it, it came about from a song that I got on the project called Vivid Pictures, uh, featuring Cowboy. Shouts out to mm. Cowboy. And um we would just brainstorm about names, you know, what we what we was gonna call it, you know. And I, I didn't have an idea. I just had too many ideas as a matter of fact. And he was like, Why don't you just call it Vivid Pictures? Mm. And I was like, dang. Song That's that, that that you know, and it stuck. And I was like, you know what? This is a movie, mm. you know, mm. and, and and this is music that you can see, feel, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's deeper than music, so it, it's a very emotional connection to it. 
You know, you're going to see my picture vividly. This right. is, then you're going to see your own movie, yes. you know, attached to that, with that. So I was like, that's, that was that was it, bro. I like that it. That was it. I like it. And you said you would like you attach music to different things that stuck out to me right there. Um, I attached music to different times in my life. So like right. 2010, I can remember everything about 2010 due to Wiz Khalifa's Cushion Orange Juice. Yeah, like, oh man, I was on that heavy too. And sometimes I can't listen to it because it also brings back sad moments for that time. Yeah. But like the music is just so amazing. Or yeah. Like for me, like J. Cole's Born Center was my summer 2013 in New York. Everything about Born Center is going to take me back to New York. Yeah. So like... Um, I, 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 I like I like how you described the, the reasoning behind this vivid pictures. Um, is it finished? It's finished, but man, like I said, I record so much music, the things still they getting, could go. getting replaced, added on to. So we at like thirteen tracks right now. Mm. Yeah. So it could go further. It could be taken down. You know, it could mm. go a little bit. I don't think we're gonna take nothing down. So okay. it could get replaced, but either replace or add it on to and I'm thinking we just might add on to but I don't want to just do no crazy you know super long project double deluxe or something Uh, like that right Um, okay so what's the reason for what's the reason for the and I don't want to say hold up but what's the reason for the hold up what's why why, why, like why do we have no date um because man these singles nah it's it's these singles bro that are dropping like we didn't really expect well, I didn't really expect okay. you already know to do what it's doing now. Right. So, you know, we just kind of plan it by ear, see where it's going to go. And right. then probably could get the project like right after this. Or I might do one more single and okay. then drop the project. So I'm not just going to hold out too much longer. So right. I'm, I'm gunning for maybe like the end of the summer. That's okay. Like, oh, okay. All that's right. what I want. I want to do, you know, and, and it's a possibility. It's in, it's in conversation. So, yeah. See, I mean, if you, records like already, what's, I mean, what's the, if, if the record, if, if, the, if the projects sound like already, no, that's a, that's summer vibes. Though, right. I'm not going to lie. That's what I'm, see, the thing well, is, already is, know takes us through the summer. Yeah. The thing is, is I want to, I want to be sure or make sure like, fans and, and people, the supporters who support my music know who I am because my music is like bigger than me, if, okay. if that makes sense. Yes, for sure. You know, so I got to get outside. That's the reason I'm on these promo runs, okay. coming to talk to the people. I really want to get the, uh, you know, the momentum high before I drop the project. That way it can, you know, just get the, is justly do <laughs> you right. know what i mean yes so uh but i'm not gonna i'm not gonna wait too much longer because i feel like it's definitely needed is it a definite 2023 thing oh yeah okay. for sure but i mean yeah. it couldn't be 2024 it's definitely nah, nah it's that okay. we definitely right. doing this this year I'm, I'm i'm anticipating it for sure mm-hmm. um and and just just in case it hasn't been said it doesn't get said um uh, thank you for for showing up today. Thank you for being here. I appreciate um, y'all for having me um, anytime. Uh, I mean, this goes for any radio station. I've uh, been in radio since I was 18, started in college radio, and I used to have the argument or debate with program directors um, about station versus, you know, artist. And a lot of, you know, they really into radio. The station is always bigger than the artist. But for me as a consumer, like to even in radio, um, this artist is way bigger than than most stations right yeah. so like um i always just appreciate the artists stopping by because um, they don't have to you don't have to you don't have to stop by so thank you um, uh, likewise bro likewise because you guys don't have to have us here you know i think we should. every 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 station matters no nope, every like voice that. matters like you know it. nah big facts we're gonna take that to my yeah. radio my radio book okay look Puda said this you know right? what I'm saying y'all might be reaching people that that uh, super major station ain't reaching you know right. you got you got listeners I can give you that so you know what I mean and here at here at University of Finley as you guys drive through the Midwest or know the Midwest you probably realize it's not like it's not quite like Texas is on a diverse level right so yeah. um, but we do have a, but we do have um, a population that does not fit the North American majority here. Yeah. Also, I don't know, I was well put, Alex. Um, uh, so I, 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 it's all for me. It's also important to get individuals that relate to those populations. So, um, so it's it, like you said, it's bigger than music. For sure. your, your presence means a lot. Um, before before we do get up out of here, um, I want to dive into um, what I would like to call um, the Texan dictionary. Okay. So I've got several words here, um, 
and they're in alphabetical order so we're just gonna go like that some of them may mean the same thing some of them may not but I, I need you to either use it in a sentence or explain it to me or do both in the same I so I'm, we're gonna see where you at with this um, and I'm sure that you will pass it with flying colors uh, first word what is already already mm. you know what I mean mm. That mean it's, it's done. Mm. Already, it's like a greeting. That's like a, okay, cool. It's, that's a bet. Right. You know what I mean? You can use it in, in a couple of different aspects. So if you say something like, hey, yo, I just went and got this, whatever it is. I went and cop the bag or whatever. Mm -hmm. Already. You know what I'm saying? I'm agree with you. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy okay. for you. Already. Yes, yes. sir. All right. If you say, hey, man, it's time to go. You know what I'm saying? Already. We're going to do it. <laughs> You feel me? So, yes, yes. sir. Yes. That's that already. I had no idea what already was in 2006. Got the text. Everybody was saying already. I'm like, already what? What are we What are we ready for? Um, yeah, that's I'm, like bit. Right, for sure. Yeah. And, and, and it definitely makes sense. I came back to Ohio in 2009 and already was steady in my vernacular. People didn't know what I was saying at the time. Um, it has since left since I haven't been Texas in a while. Next yeah. word, drink. Drink. You know, uh, that's pretty... Pretty much self exclamatory. Okay. Drink. Big drink. You know what I'm saying? Got the drink in my cup. Okay. Drink is that's what it is. It's drink. It's drink. Yeah. Well, I like it. We'll leave it there. Um, hold it down. Like, hold who is Don? Or are we going to dine somewhere? Uh, we're going to hold it down. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Hold, hold it down is hold it, hold it down. <laughs> You know, but it took we you some work yeah, to yeah, but we but we hold it down. Yes, that mean you gotta hold it down. Like you know that. what I mean? Mm. Stay firm. Mm. Yeah, mm. I like it. Um, man, hold up. Yeah. What what what, what is that? What's it? What, 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 you tell me like relax or like man man hold up. That's like how can I how can I explain man hold up? That's 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 like a form of. Excitement almost. Okay. Okay. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. Saying? I like the way you put that. It's a, mm. it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a see, okay. see, there it go. Man, hold up. You, you do something, you yeah. be like, hold up. That's a, that's a form of excitement. There you go like right that. there. Yeah. I like that. Um, form of excitement. I like that. Uh, po up. Po up. That's when you fit the po up the drink. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's, a, it's a verb. What you do, huh? Um, poking not. Poking out, you know what I mean? That's what we refer to swingers, rims, big gorilla pokers, you know, super pokers. Those are weird. That that's rims. Okay. Yeah, swingers or rims, like the sports that that okay. yeah, that, that that poke out. Okay. Yeah. That's what like they like in the in the in the original still tipping video, they got them things that I, as, as a kid I was like, what what the heck is this? Um yes, sir. those are those are okay, got you. Pop and trunk. Popping trunk, so popping trunk is when Houston, te really Texas culture, really. Um, pop trunk is when they pop the trunk. You ever seen when? Uh, how can I, can I, see, how can I explain? Hey, go, yeah. Okay. When the trunk is kind of decorated. All right. Almost, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. it'll, have, it'll have a saying in the back of the trunk when they pop the trunk. Mm -hmm. The trunk, that just had a speakers, whatever. Right. Fifteens, whatever it is, four twelves, and then it'll have a saying on the back of the trunk with the lights, like, how's my driving? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay. So you can get swanged on, then we pop the trunk on mm -hmm. you, and then you're going to read some shit. It's, <laughs> it's going to say, how, how's my driving, or, or something crazy. That's a clever question. a funny question, too. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. Okay. Um, yeah. Slab. Slab. All car related, apparently. Yeah. That's what we're talking about with the cars. When you take okay. an old school classic car and you put some candy paint on it, throw mm. some swangers on it, mm. you know what I'm saying? Put a fifth wheel on the back, put the belts on the trunk. What are the belts yeah. on the trunk? What's the belts mean? Help me out. Yeah. So the belts on the trunk is, is literally what it is. It sounds like it's okay. like belts on okay. the trunk. Like they coming down like that. They coming down Cause I, like cause I that. I can see it, but I never thought. I yeah, never, like, never like knew what the terminology was. One on this side, one on this side, and, and coming down. It's okay. Coming down, but uh, yeah. Okay. Um, we did that one already. Swinging. What's swinging? I mean, swinging is when you swerving. Okay. You know, swinging and banging. When you swinging in the road, you, you hogging the lane. You taking up the road. You swinging through the road. Trunk pop. You know what I'm saying? Music all the way up. Okay. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Um, and the last but not least, Texas tea. 
Texas tea. That's that drink. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Texas tea. I got asked if I wanted some Texas tea when I was 16 also. I used to love sweet tea to this day. I do. I'm like, yeah, let me get some. Um, Man, and then this, I, ain't, I, this ain't sweet yep, tea. Learn that, learn, learn that real quick. Learn that real quick. Ain't nothing sweet over here. I, okay, all right, y'all got me. Um, I do not want any more. Um, chicken and grits. I'm taking it back real quick. Um, uh was this inspired at all by Luda? I know you said you listened to Luda. Was the title that every like I'm thinking about chicken and beer? Nah, I really was just having fun in the studio. I mean, I love grits. I love chicken. So yeah, I mean, it worked for me. But you know, I was in Florida uh, in Cool and Dre studio doing um some sessions, going through some beats. I mean, and that that came up and it just sounded like the perfect party record and, mm. I, and I, I wanted to you know represent where I'm from too like at the same time that's what I do you know we chicken we eat good we like big booty women we like thick women we cornbread fed down mm. there mm-hmm. and you know I just wanted to share that with the world well thank you for sharing um, <laughs> I, I, I concur already um yeah, I'm thinking about the. Uh, I always, I always like the the Michael Watts scene and the still tipping video when you got the, yeah. that that woman right there as a 12 year old. That was like the most beautiful thing. In the yeah, world. Shout out Michael Watts. Shout out, man. My goodness. Um, uh, um, I got a question. Uh, so I got a son. He's four years old. His name is Miles. Um, and this goes for all the youth, though, right? Um, what is what is one piece of advice from young Puda that you can offer as far as living life, staying productive, being successful, and and, and getting through trials and tribulation in life? What should they know from Young Puda? Uh, number one, you, you should already know, we got to keep God first. Mm. And prayer does work. Yes. You know what I mean? Prayer works. Uh, me, I say affirmations. Mm. You know, I, I am blessed. I am healthy. I am wealthy. Because you got to get that. You got to get that in your mind. You know, I, I do it. I got a three-year-old daughter. Okay. And, and I do it with her. I mm. start young. You know, we say affirmations. And uh, we just do certain things. And... Um, be yourself, really. Be like yourself. It. Keep God first, and and dream big. Dream big. Pray on what you want to go for, and go for it. You know, got to put action behind what you want. And then, you know, when it seems like it's getting hard, that means it's fit to get good. Mm. Cause it's gonna get real bad before mm. it get better. Mm. You know, and like I said, um, some things worth worth having take longer. And when it take longer, you gotta go stronger. And when you go stronger and you get it, it's gonna it's gonna last forever. I mean, yeah. yeah, y'all take heed, man, for nah, sure. Nah, for real. Um, no, I like that. I like that. Now, um, how I wanna word this, uh, man? In in black culture, we have a problem with comparing everything. Yeah. Um, uh, I think Master P said it the other day in an interview. Uh, why don't we compare Larry Bird to Pistol Pete? Um, yeah. Now, with that said, who are your top five Texas artists of all time? Right, I Texas that. artists yes. of all time. Um, okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna be the change here, obviously, because I just yeah, I wanted to know what your top five Texas artists are. Top five Texas artists. Would Houston be easier? Yeah. Hold on. Okay. Uh, Big Mo for sure. Mm. Zero. Come on. Um. Oh, that's hard, chameleon there. I don't know, bro, because I, I, I'm just trying. I'm not trying to keep it just used to base, but it's like, ooh. And now you're working with these individuals, so I don't uh, want to get you caught up at all like nah, that. Big Mo, mm. chameleon there, zero. Um. Is this of all time or just? It's your favorites. Your favorites of all time. Okay, well. I- yeah, so it don't. Yeah, you know, I don't need no statistics here. I just need your favorites. All right, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with zero, Big Mo, Chameleon, uh, Big Tuck, mm. Love Tuck, and Southside of Pimp C. Woo! That's a uh, UG, U, I'm gonna say UGK. I like, I like that. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Woo! It's a solid five. That's a solid five. Yeah. All right, and so that's respected. That's respected. You thinking that? Sorry, my bad. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> no, stand on it. Stand on it. Who, who you got? Who you got? Yeah, who you got? That's the. That's the. Uh, Mount Rushmore. Well, five, but. So what was the question? Five. The five. The top. five top Texas artists of all time. You. You. Beyonce would be number one. Oh yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah, you can't forget B. 
I was okay. But, but talk, you were talking about UGK should have been number two. Mm. Yeah. I was talking about. Okay, rap. so we ain't doing this in order. Now nah, this is I, no agreed, specific agreed. order. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but but of all time, yeah, Beyonce. Yeah, I ain't, I ain't think about. But we we was talking rappers about, for sure. We okay. But Beyonce, yeah. I just got to make sure we was on the same page. But you you gotta put Chameleon in there. Okay. You know you gotta put you gotta put Big Mo. Okay. You have to you have to put UGK. Right. You know what mm. I mean? Mm. Those are names that you just it's like you have to. It's a must. I like that. I like that. All right. I don't I don't want to get you caught up, so I'm not gonna ask any more questions <laughs> like that. Um I do want to shout out to a couple of Houston artists while you're here. Shout out to my brother Derek Dominique. Yeah. Um shout out to Big Kyle Lee. He's not from well, I don't, I don't know if he's from Houston. He reps San Antonio, but he went back and forth. So um uh that was a big individual that I came up on in Texas. Um so I wanna do that in, in your presence. I appreciate your presence, young Puda. Um I last but not least, before we get up out of here. Got them K Reno yeah. too. Yeah, K Reno. Out to K -Reno. I'm yeah. not hip, but I'm okay, I'm, let, me, let me let me let me study my game. Oh yes, sir. Um uh, I I gotta ask if you would if you would be so inclined to play Connect Four. Jeremiah Jackson is our general manager, and this is an individual that I look up to. Yeah. Um, so he's he, look. I beat him. Before. Let's get it, man. He, he also talk, beat me though. He was talking trash. Oh, we for to see. Oh, we for to see what it do. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it right there? Yeah, All right, yeah. Yeah, take the, yeah, get get comfortable. Uh, put it wherever you need to get. Bring the microphones in so we can get the, get the sound of loss and get more from either side. He, he said he, he said he beat me, but he didn't say like the all time score between us two. I did beat you for camp. Nah, this is a little friendly game. A little friendly cool. game. Uh I me, mean, you guess you go first. You got it. Because he'll set you up, he'll try to get you slipped. I just want to make sure it's all good. Yellow ranks are free. Alright, uh. You got a good angle? Yeah. Alright, good angle. Let me make sure it's angle. Nah, because I was last time. I was a Hollywood Savage. I ain't never got angle. But uh, since I am sitting in this seat, you know, uh. I got a platform of my own, high get level TV. Kind of talk like all things anime. I'm not trying to just distract okay, you. You okay. know, go ahead, go ahead. Do your thing. So what, what, what anime? So, uh, click. So my main anime is One Piece. I kind of talk about it the most. So, so you, are you hit? It's anime. Man, I, I'm Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, mm -hmm. okay. A lot of people grew up in Dragon Ball Z. That's kind of like the, that's the OG for real, for real. Yeah. Uh, Ooh, okay, I see what you're doing here. Yeah. Who's playing with me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I see what you're doing, okay. Yeah. Where are we going to go? Where are we going to go? We're going to make your next move, your next move, my boy. <laughs> the most intense connect for a game I don't play. He locked in. See, I gotta stop you, you before stop. you start, man. I gotta stop you in your tracks.
Am I, am I looking at this right? Yeah, you looking at it right. Who are you playing with? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, who's your, who's your favorite character from Dragon Ball Z again? Yeah, Goku. Goku? <laughs> Goku, Gohan, Trunks. I, I fucked with them all. Okay, 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 okay. You seen like new, new ones? Nah, I ain't seen it. The last one I seen was the, uh, uh, what's it, with the Brock? I don't know. Broly? Broly, I mean, yeah. Like, the movie. Okay, yeah, about to say the Broly movie. Yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, yeah. Well, I just, just want to get that out, you know, I just want to know more about, you know, your uh, anime taste before I make my final move, you know. Okay. Final move. Yeah. Before I make my final move, but I'm going to just do it right there. I'm sitting here looking at y'all playing the game. I'm <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I don't think you see it. Right here. I was shot. I was. Oh, he hit him. I was shot. Yeah. Oh, I was like, I, was I like, wasn't even looking. I was like, oh, he yeah. put that right there. I was wondering what she was doing. That's just, that's just as bad as your list. You just like. <laughs> <laughs> What's your top five? Top five. I need to know your top five Texas artists. Texas artists? No, hip hop though. Is hip hop? Yeah, straight rap. Scarface rap. would be number one. Scarface yeah, number one. Okay. Then UGK. Then UGK. Okay. I'm okay. not mad at that. I'm me. But it's in order. I'm going to do Trade the Truth. Trade the Truth. No, I'm not. I'm going to have it. I'm going to Trade the Truth fan. So, Trade the Truth. Then I may. I'll put Chameleon here on there. He deserves to be on there. No, no, no. No, no, no what? No Big Mo? No. Nah. No. Uh. No, no Big Mo. No. Pokey? No. All right. I just okay. need one more. Not the ball, baby? Man, we got to run this back. You know, <laughs> that, that, hey. he got me messed up. That's why I got to think about that last one. But I'm, I don't know. I so, Squaw Face, UGK. Chameleon F. I'm liking with those three. I can agree with those three. I, I would say Trey zero the over Trey. Trey the truth. And you still got Slim Thug. So oh, so you, got, you, got Slim Thug you got Slim Thug, you got Fall Wall, you got yeah. a ton of other ones. Zero is cool, but he ain't. He ain't it, zero. He ain't. Most City done? The Most City done? Listen, I, you can play slow, loud, brain. And then me, I'm. I put I put Devin the dude up before I put Oh, I almost forgot about my guy. Devin the dude up before I put zero. Devin the dude, you right. You so right. I, I forgot about Devin. Killer Calion. Killer Calion fire, but I would put him. Uh, top five. You know, I, I would put him in my yeah, but all time worthy of being mentioned though. Nah, I definitely would say uh, Devin the dude too. I ain't think about Devin. Don't ask me any questions. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm 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 keep, 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 I
you, yo, and I'm right, and Pooley gives me a bar, and it's fire. That's and different I'm than a whole it. reference, a whole track, a whole mid 30s. <laughs> hey, hey, that's hey, 90 hey, seconds okay. first a bar. No, no, no. See, and that's the thing, bro. Drake is smart. If you give, oh, no. if he submits me a whole record, I think it's on me. Oh, okay. From yeah. bars to hook. Don't, don't do that. Put his name. Two, <laughs> six. Two, that four, was six. Up. Who started the game? I did. Yeah, it's, Are you sure? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's on him. <laughs> all right, if both y'all agree. <laughs> Uh, if who submits a whole song, bro, it's over. If, it's over, bro. Uh, if, if you submit me a whole song, <laughs> it's over. First, it is. I seen that. <laughs> I don't have to change nothing. Yeah, you did that. I'm That's clean. cool. <laughs> the name of the game is safe. Hey, I'll be uh, back to my I'll be back to my real. I see it. I see it. But uh, hold on. You were saying what? The name of the game to me is safe. Like, bro, at the end of the day, okay, so we talking sales or bro, influence? It doesn't even mm. matter, bro, because the fact of the matter is the music. If you submit to me a fire ass record from top to bottom, hooks, verses, everything, and I don't have to change nothing, it's less work, and I just go record it, and I gotta go sit over there and think it, I'm gonna go record the hit. And I'm gonna put it out. I'm still gonna keep my publishing off of it. Mm. You're gonna get your publishing off of it, and we gonna eat. But you're not I'm rappers. Smart. Yeah, man, niggas no, don't rappers, rappers, rappers are thinking like that. That's why Drake did it. You're like, nigga, yeah. all right. Because when you look at the publishing aspect of the song that Quentin wrote, he got the publishing off of it. He still ate. He didn't hide it. You can look at all these records from top to bottom. And, and I'm telling you, every crazy. record Kanye from top to bottom. Drake wrote for Kanye. Every rapper, every R&B artist has more than what's not going to just say, Woo, 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 just one name on there, cause a nigga's gonna have, Look, it's gonna out. have other yeah. people. On Cole there. got writers. I'm not. I'm not listening to rap music ever again. <laughs> <Cole> <laughs> can't, he can't have writers. He can't have writers, man. It's not acceptable. It's it's like, bro, bro, everybody has writers, bro. Big big pay. Pay. Nah, everybody, everybody, certain. Have writers. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. J Cole, I don't think he can have writers. Yeah. No, it's not possible. Like Kendrick. King, I don't think I don't they got think writers either. Think, M, Wayne, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't be right. Nah, nah. It, it wouldn't. To a certain it, wouldn't it wouldn't. It, it, everybody got writers because you got, people in this, you got people in this. I'll be done. Why are all these people in these sessions? What are they in there for? Like, these a lot of them be in there for motivation. Man, ain't no motivation because I'm going to ask you what, what you think of that last bar. You're going to be like, nah, you should swap the words. Nigga, that's a writer. <laughs> that's a writer. I mean, yeah. That's a, that's a, that's a, oh, but you get credit for that. Niggas mm. got, yeah, yeah, got yeah, publishing yeah. So for, 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 for ideally for, for being, less. yeah. For and that's ideally. part of that's part of the creative. That's process. if you go back and look at one of Dre's interviews, that's what he said. He really started working with uh, Queen for like just for ideas, really. Yeah, bro, because yeah. it's the concept. I'm having a conversation with y'all. You give me an idea for a song. Does that not make you entitled and a writer to the actual song that's created? Mm. Like, bro, inspiration. And if I inspire you, that's part of the writing process. You better tell me up front then. Like, you better tell as a fan. I want to know up front. Yo, yeah. But so, you know, but you Quentin, know. this record. Bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, but yeah. It's, like, but, that's what I would do. Like, see, but, I brought in but nobody, but because. nobody, but nobody sits there. Like, yo, even when you're sitting there and they interview you, how many people ask you if you wrote Chicken and Grits? How many people asked you if you wrote Drop? Yeah. You feel me? No, it's not a conversation. It's one of those things where it's like it don't matter because it's your record. Yeah. Put it, did you write Chicken and Grits? Yeah, yeah. All right. And see, but me, I, I, if I was to work with a writer that. Help me write a song. I would want to give them that credit in the in the thing right. because when you don't put it up up in front, that's when people look at you like, man, nobody, oh man, nobody you, you can't you know what? Because what's gonna happen is ASCAP, BMI, whatever. Because when you submit the splits, yeah. they're gonna automatically know. Let's just say, fucking drop goals and it sells ten million. They're gonna go pull that. They're gonna offer you a pub deal. They're gonna offer everybody listed on that record a pub deal, bro. It's nothing that needs to really be said. Like, mm -hmm. that's why nobody talks about it unless it's a specified question. Then it's gonna be like, oh yeah, such and such was in the studio with me, such and such. I think that, such that, that aspect is just for really the fans, though. Right, because fa fans will go dig deep for stuff if they have the inclination to do so. Google it. Right, for sure. I mean, information's out there, it's just a matter it's of. It's there for you to do it. It's not like it's hidden. Now, unless you go ahead and you do a work for hire, which is like, yo, I'll buy your publishing aspect and I'll buy your credit. Right. I'll pay you 
two fifty and it's all in and it's just all me, which mm. a lot of the big names do. So that's what I'm saying. Like when I say nigga, everybody has writers, everybody has it. It's just depending on the paperwork in which. Like, would you be surprised if I seen uh J. Cole with a with, with help with a, a verse, a song, or something. I'd be very surprised. But you, nah, yeah, I wouldn't because the thing is, is that the paperwork would hide it. I pay you two fifty a half, you know, a half a mil, and you'll be like, yeah, I signed it. But we're speaking about things that that will never even occur because Jermaine don't he, he doesn't get down like that. So. <laughs> I'm not talking about that. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I feel know. like that. I don't too, know man. because you got to think about it like this too. You listen to Jermaine right now. His albums compared to what was it, Born Center, mm -hmm. and the previous album before then. You're gonna sit there and think about it. Damn, those shits, those hooky hook joints, those radio records. Didn't sound like the shit he's putting out now. I disagree with everything you're saying, Mr. Tucker. <laughs> I'm a J. Cole fan. <laughs> I'm a J. Cole fan, but I know me. Too. I can't listen to a whole J. Cole album all the way through. I gotta go three songs in and I gotta stop. Mm. Oh man. Mm. I have to, bro, because for one you need to add a there, Jeremiah. I still need to yeah, you need to add a there. <laughs> I'm just saying too much, like it's a such thing as just too much. And J. Cole would give me too much. I'm like, I gotta listen to that in spurts. Cause sometimes with him being one of my favorite artists, he puts me to sleep. Whoa. Uh, so off season listen. Thank you, thank you. It was different J. Cole, but it was still a great J. Cole. We're not talking about yeah. off-season. That's a different J. Cole. Like, okay. J. Cole has about... never put me to sleep. I just want to put... I'm not on camera right now, but I just want to say it out loud. It's a conversation being had. Which one was the J. one where you sitting on the uh, roof of the crib? Uh, uh, Forest Hills Drive. Forest Hills Drive. Drive. So you should go from that one oh. on out to up, up. Like, yo, he got better, better to me. I don't think he fell off. He got, he got, he got better, better, but the music has changed. Has changed drastically. KOD was where you bananas. Bro, I used to combine a previous Born Center Friday Born Night Center was the most depressing J. Cole project ever. <laughs> but it was I love it, but it's depressing. Born it's Center. stuff is somewhat depressing, too. <laughs> like, you got to think about it. Look at the drastic change of him and his appearance from when he started to now. Now it's just like he basically gives zero fucks. He looks like a cop. Thank you. No, 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 it is bro. Yes. Yes. It is bro. Yes. Look at Jay. So, right, right. Right. so, so, right. so he wakes up every morning. He rides a bike around Manhattan and save your gives, And he gives zero fucks about life. No, no, I think he loves life so much that he doesn't have to worry about how others view him. I, he I, don't. I, that's what I'm saying. He don't. Hey, well, I got one but question. When you wake, when, are you going out places like that? Where? Like J. Cole. Oh, that's yeah. growth. Nah, nah, nah. But it's growth, though. That's You should aspire to get to that, right? So I'm you might as well start he, right now. He living in his own growth. What you mean? Like, at my appearance? Like, have my shit all crazy? You know <laughs> I mean, some people, yeah, it's some people like that, you know, they just don't care. They, right. it's, they believe, like, I'm not cutting my hair because it's the belief. Me, I got to look good. <laughs> no, I got to be groomed. You know what I mean? How much you think for a haircut, Pooja? Who, me? Yeah. 50? Okay, all right. That's too okay. much. I'm straight. Yeah, 50 too. I think 50 too much. Damn. Too much? Yeah. For like I, a fresh? Nah. I don't think it's too much. I'm thinking about how much I pay now. That's why I'm a little perturbed. You pay more than fifty. But hang on, I love Marvin. paying a hundred, two hundred. Yeah, two hundred. I love my barber, and he's my friend. I love you, Brandon. Um, I pay 70, 72, 72. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's too much. But I get enhancements though too. I'm gonna learn how to cut my own hair for seventy bucks. Mm. Yeah, I don't mind my own set up for free. I don't know. I don't have a skill. I don't have a skill. I tried it before when I was young. Okay, I got, I got Man, one more question. Some, some cuts be worth it though. Like, oh, thank you. I drive two hours and pay fifty dollars to get my hair cut. Okay, so okay, so never mind. My seven, my seventy don't sound as bad then with the fifty plus the two hour. That's because that's you that's drive two like, hours away. Yeah, so that's like, a four hour drive. Like an hour and and what? And you still look ugly. <laughs> 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 He's not fixing nothing for you. You gotta go. Yeah, hey, but when I go down there, look, I, you know, it's like a one stop shop. I go shopping, then I'll come back. So I don't just drive out there and get You make it efficient for yourself. Yeah. Yeah, it makes no sense. <laughs> you spend more money then. Yeah. So your haircut. I know I gotta fit. spend more money. But if you got it, you got it. Look yeah. at the thread. I like it. I'm not gonna lie. I like this. What the, the that's that's one thing cold. about pool. He don't be fresh. That's why he's functioning. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, I'll I be telling people, like, it, it's cool to go into, like, uh, uh, a high end store, get a Gucci fit and all that. Don't get me wrong, but to me, it's just not. 
style. It's right. cool. You know, some of it be mm-hmm. just fly and but when you can take a piece and this piece and put that together and put this together, that's what makes it fashion. No, I, no, got it. I have one more question. No, just before, because now I, I, I like I like your opinion too. Um, I like everybody's opinion. But okay, I'm working. I'm working on. Uh, I'm working on a book for my dissertation, Critical Rap Theory. It's been discussed, but I don't know if it's not coined particularly yet. But the reason I asked, we're talking about writing, right? And mm-hmm. if 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 it takes away from the credibility or authenticity of the rapper. Um, as a rapper, uh, is rap the most? We, I mean, we know based on Rico laws and in the court system, is uh, to me it's the most scrutinized genre of music. Um, but is it also required to have more authenticity than other genres of music? Oh, I say so. Like, are you expected? I mean, I think about it nowadays. I think people are expected to do what they say in their lyrics more than ever, which is also scary nowadays. Yeah. Um, but then also, for me, as I'm trying to hold rappers accountable for writing their own lyrics, that's a different level. As opposed to compared to R and B or pop or rock or grunge, or but you should hold everybody accountable as music, right? So you should hold everybody to the same accountability as hip hop. Mm-hmm. So if you want your hip hop artists to write all their stuff, these R and B artists need to write their own. Okay, all right. So just like everybody, for the life of me, used to think Usher's confession was just his based off of his true that story. That was JD, right? And it was somebody else's. God damn, I ain't feel me. So. Like those are different things because it's like, yo, stuff he may go through in life, I have the outlet, I have the platform. Mm, I'm right. the artist. So it's like, yo, I'm gonna get his story through my channel and through mm-hmm. me and I'm gonna tell the story. I like that. Same thing with Buddha. Like I me and Buddha may sit in the car and just have a whole conversation. He'll be like, yo, bro, I'm gonna make a whole song about that. That shit mm-hmm. gonna sound crazy. Right. I don't have that platform, but he does. And whether it is true or not, he's telling the story from a perspective that he knows personal storytelling, right? It's so part of it. that's why I say, like, yo, the writing aspect of it, like, I feel you, but it's not to take away, discredit Drake, because Drake writes a lot of his shit. For sure. Yeah. So it's like, whether or not I write 90% and I don't write 10%, man, I'm still a writer. Mm-hmm. If I do 50-50, I'm still a writer. Right, I'm just other people music yeah, too. I'm just the genius that I'm not gonna pass on a hit because I didn't write it. Right. Okay. Because again, for the longest, we sat here. <clears throat> Meek Mill couldn't find a number one. Couldn't, mm. couldn't get a number one. Couldn't pay for a number one until he lit another nigga. Like, come. What did he write? What did he not write? What are you telling me? Chris Brown and Nicki. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Yeah, I mean. Come, do that. It That's okay. Amen. You know, it's my That's my amen is because of who? Mm. Drake. John? Amen. Yeah, amen. because of Drake. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm so, again, right like I said, but now everybody's sitting there and they're sitting in the studio because I've been in those sessions with some of those people where it's like, bro, I need a bar for this. Can't come a nigga coming through with a bar. Mm. Could be, it could be the, the, the nigga in the mail <clears throat> room. It could be somebody delivering whatever, and they ask mm-hmm. them, like, nah, you should just swap the words. Mm-hmm. Why say Luigi when you go with Mario? Uh, <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like, it's just one of those yeah, things. Yeah, you're gonna get and that changes, the, that changes the trajectory of a record. Like, swapping words, and, you know, Buddha's a wordsmith. Like, yo, he's, he's, one of, he's, he's one of the better lyricists out here. And the thing is, is that changing certain words and using certain you know, uh, tones with the word, like Eminem does it too, where he'll drag a word to mm-hmm. where it like splits and has two meanings. Right. Yeah. Like, yo, you have to be, like, you have to be kind of like off the hinges to come and think of shit like that. For sure. Mm-hmm. Or have somebody around mm-hmm. that can give you that idea. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe if you drag it and then pronunciate this and it just go, you right. know? So no, that's, that's why I said like, yo, I don't take away from Drake from doing it. Like, it happens. It's been happening for years. But some niggas' lives are boring, bro. Mm-hmm. It's real boring. It's mm-hmm. boring. And it's like, yo, I wake up every day, I go shower, I go to work, I don't do nothing. Mm-hmm. Ooh, he high speed chases, women chasing him left and right. <laughs> He's telling me the story. I'm like, I gotta put that on paper like it's me. <laughs> yeah. No, it makes sense. I like the tape. Um, before we get back here, Buddha, what is your skincare routine? My skincare routine? Yes, I, 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 see, I see clear skin. I got to ask, man. I'm still working on my skin. Water, water, fruit, and um. 
Coconut oil. God damn, man. Right, here we go. Oil. Waterproof. Yeah. Coconut oil. That's the thing. I'm, I'm going to get on my regimen. Thank my you. Um, Jay Jack, can you close us out, please? Um, thank you for stopping by, Buddha. Uh, you know. It took a couple of hours of me with him for it, but you know, you're not hey, the only one. I'm coming back for that rematch. <laughs> I'm coming back for that rematch for the show. You're not the only one, but thank nah, you for stopping by. You're talking like you're the only one. King Connect Four. Bro, I sat here and I watched him bait you with every time possible. All right, come on, you next then. Get up, get, get up here. There's not enough money in the world to get me to take these, uh, to get this dub. Buddha, can we get you to sign the wall too, please, if you don't mind? Oh, you don't show I'll take it here, Jay Jack. Um, we got, we got my fault. Um, need a ladder. Marcy is here, and then, but so, we sign it big, man. Make, 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 make a note that if you need to share or something, you can move that. Don't step on this one. This one, don't move. But and if you just don't mind dating it, just put put a date on it. Yo, got it.